In this tutorial, I am going to take you through the steps of saving an email attachment. Um, the email attachment that, that we will be working with will be the photo that you need for the week three discussion assignment. So um, I'm going to take you through the steps of downloading the photo to your computer. And then the other thing I will do is show you how to get to the discussion and upload the photo to um, the, dis the discussion thread. So this is all part of the week three discussion uh, assignment. Okay, so first thing we want to do is go up here to your little message icon and click on this. So I'm going to send each of you an email attachment. It's going to be an image of a discontinuity and um, you will need to upload that image to your discussion thread. Okay, so the first thing that you're going to be asked to do is go to your message center and click on that little icon, and then we're going to go into email. So once you're in the mailbox, you want to uh, scroll down here, and it will show you the image or the um, email message that came in. So Amy sent me this message. It, it's a photo. And I know it has an attachment because of that little paper clip over here. So I'm going to open up this message. And I'm going to scroll all the way down the message over here. And my attachment is way at the bottom. So it says photo1.png. The PNG is a ping file, and that's an image file. So I'm going to go down to the link, and I'm going to scroll over. And I'm going to get the little finger up, and then I'm going to right click on that link. Okay, so once again, scroll down, get the little finger up from the link, right click, and then from here we're going to do save link as. So it's going to take that image and it will save it over here and it's going to save it as a PNG file. That's the same extension it had um, as the attachment and again PNG means uh, ping and that's a photo file. So I'm just going to save this, but you want to make sure before you save it that you know where you're saving to. So if I go over here to my side menu, I can go to desktop and I can save it to my desktop. I can create a new folder on my desktop and I'll just call this weld photo. So now I'm on my desktop. I have an folder called weld folder photo. I can double click on that and now I can save my image right to that folder. Okay, so now my image is on my desktop. Um, and I will just, let me just quickly go through that process once more. So from your little mail icon up here, you're going to go to email. It will open up this box here. I will scroll down to get to my email message. I'm going to click on the message itself so the subject line is photo. When I click on that, it'll open up my email message. I will scroll down to the bottom of my message and find the attachment. And it comes in as a PNG file. I'm going to hover over the link and get that little finger up and then right click on my mouse key and do a save link as and then I'm going to save that to the folder I created on the desktop. Okay, okay. Again, you can go to desktop here. Or you can go to this drop-down menu, and you should be able to find desktop on this drop-down list up here also. So here is the folder I created, Weld, Weld Photo. I'm going to open that up and save my photo inside this folder. If I didn't want to create a folder on the desktop, all I all I would have to do is um, just save it right to my desktop and I could do that also. Um, I'm going to open up my folder and I'm going to save this. I'll have to put, um, I will save it here and because there's already that photo with the same name and I'm just going to replace it. 